if we being honest, what academics is going through is the same shit Pac went through. And if Tupac ain't changed that shit, I mean, yeah. No, I think we need academics to, ain't we going need through to, shit that Tupac went through. Let's get that shit to, clear. Tupac wasn't out here trying to shoot the five with bitches all day either. So see, this is the difference. This is the difference between the two. You got one that bullies women a lot, right? Now it's rape accusations popping up on him. You understand? This dude is a known bully towards women. You know what I mean? He's not a known bully towards men. Soon as he talks some physical gangster shit with a man, he talks about how he's gonna call the cops on him so you can't respect that type of bullying because you're not actually you know serious about the the physical things that you actually presenting to people you know what i mean so just like i said it's definitely a completely a complete difference you know what i mean because you out here like you know the way he be talking about like you know it's a lot of men that feel like megan the stallion is lying right and i understand that right cool but it's a lot of men that's doing too much towards Megan the Stallion also. Like, I don't even know her, and I'll be ready to knock niggas the fuck out because they be just wowing too much because I'll be like, I don't see y'all have the same energy with men. You know what I mean? And I have a big issue with that because... If I'm having an argument with a woman and a man steps up and he says something, I will take out that aggression on that man. I will say, you know what? This The woman don't deserve this anyway. Let me bring this to their doorstep. You know what I mean? So I don't like, I really don't like men that be out here really acting like they going to fight women and shit like that and talking crazy to them. And I feel like a lot of dudes do that because a lot of women lack protectors out there. And when I mean protectors, I'm just, I'm not talking about just father and brother. I'm just talking about thy neighbor these niggas won't protect you these niggas because they can't protect themselves because it's a lot of bitch assness in the fucking community and that's my biggest thing with, with megan like I, I just like i tell people i think megan should not have been allowed to testify because she was already deemed a liar which makes her um not a reliable witness so she should not have been able to even testify on him because if you go on one show crying tears during emotions and you lie you say i didn't have sex with this dude but then you could get on the stand and say you did have sex with the dude you're a clear liar so we should not believe anything that you being said because we are proven a liar. But at the same time, you know what I mean? Like dudes, the way they be coming to her and shit like that, all that aggression, nigga, I'll smack fire out you for some shit like that because it's not, it's not right. It's not righteous whatsoever. And it's because you know that you could do that. You're not gonna do that with these men. Soon as you start, soon as you start talking to him, he soon as he start dissing little baby in them, the first thing he brings up to the dudes is. Oh, yeah, and I'll call the DA on you, the Fulton County DA. He don't say that when he dissing Young Miami and them, because he know, he know Young Miami and them can't physically do shit. But as soon as it's a man, you know what I mean? It's a whole, and that's the thing. We can't do that as men. We got to we gotta be respectful to our, to our, to our neighbors, We gotta we, and we got to protect the women. Like, that shit the dudes is doing with Megan Thee Stallion is, like, out of pocket, like, all the way out of pocket. I'm going to be honest. I think well, that shit is real nigga shit, if I'm being all the way out. Not the well, getting on Meg, not all of that. That's you think that. it's real nigga shit because you're not gonna fight a man. That's why you no, think it's real nigga that's shit. That's why I think it's real. Are nigga you shit. gonna Are you gonna no, fight no, no, a no, man? No, no, no. That, let me let me tell you why it's real nigga shit. It's real nigga shit because I talk crazy to everybody, right? Not me. If I'm after, academics, talks crazy to everybody. He talks crazy to these women. Are they physically gonna attack him? No. He then talks crazy to the men and says, if you physically go and attack me, here's going to be the consequence. That's no different than a nigga saying. Uh, it's very different because he doesn't present those same things to the women. He never says to these women that he's going to call the cops. He, exactly. And that's my issue. So you're only playing this game with people because you have the defense of the cops and the women don't that's have the a defense. Same, they don't the have nobody standing only doing up for them. Got the, that's the same as the nigga only doing it because he got the defense of the gun. If a nigga put his hands on me, I'm blowing his brains away. That's no different than saying if a nigga put his hands on me, I'm calling the cops. No, it's, it's the same his thing. Of the All right, look. It's the same thing as this. I have a lot of people, a lot of men who decided to tell me how they felt about me when I got behind prison bars. I never knew they felt this way about me when I was free. They never said this to me because they possibly thought that they might see me. See, when the people think he might see Megan Thee Stallion you know, or Young Miami, it's okay. But when you think that you might see, you know, a little baby or one of these other guys, then it's, yeah, and I'll call the district attorney on you. Like, what? That's That's not right. That's not yeah, right whatsoever. That's selective, that's selective speaking. You're being very picky about it's who you're going to be disrespectful to. It's really not. I'm talking just as aggressive to everybody. There's just going to be a different consequence if you're a woman versus a different consequence if you're a man. If, the, if, if academic said, if any of these rap niggas put their hands on me, I'm shooting them. Would you respect that? 
Um, no, no, I, I wouldn't respect that because um, that's not his thing, you know. But the thing is, is that if you're talking aggressively and you're talking about, it's like this: we're from a community, right? Where if you tell somebody, you know, suck my dick, you could die for it because it's basically you're inviting him to your penis, and he's a straight man, so you're basically inviting him to a to a gay sexual intercourse. So this goes somewhere, right? If you tell a man, you know feel about his mother. There's a lot of dudes out here sensitive about their mother. He might jump out the window. You know all the trigger words to get hurt in our neighborhood. See, in white neighborhoods, they say that shit. Suck my cock, buddy, and it's just a laugh. But in our culture, it's not. The same way we could call each other nigga here and there, but if a white person says nigga, we turn around like, Arr! it's a stop. You understand? So the point is, is that how do we, how do we allow you to speak like this to women, right? And yes, you do speak like that to men, but every time you speak like that to men, you're talking about the district attorney because you think young Miami can't beat your ass. So this is why when Saucy Santana popped up and said, I'm gonna fuck you up. I said, yes, Saucy, go kick his ass. Go kick his fucking ass because you a man and you gay and he got to deal with it differently now. You understand? Because I'm going to be honest. If, if 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 I was in civilization, you know, if I was in civilization, all I would do is just tell these dudes what they're not going to do. That's it. I'm going to just be like, shut the fuck up. Don't say it again. Because if I see you, I'm going to grab your ass. I'm going to emasculate you. I'm going to turn you into the bitch you are. You understand? I love it. Emasculating, man. I love it. I love it. Speaking we know. Yes, Rocky. Yes. <laughs> no, but all right. So, Pax, if he was talking to these women like, make the stallion, you such and such and such. And if you do anything or send anybody at me, I'm calling the police. Would you respect that? Yeah. 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 I would respect right. it. I would because then it would be the same thing you're doing with the men. But you, you know that she's not physically capable of doing something to you. And Megan Thee Stallion might fuck that nigga up. That nigga never had a fight. Megan Thee Stallion twerks 72 times a day. That bitch kind of strong. So she might fuck that nigga up for all we know. But he don't think that because he thinks she a woman. So he goes at her and does shit like that. And that's why I'd be like, yo, bro, this is sad, bro. Like, where are these women's brothers at? Where they cousins at? Where's the, where, where, because it's like, and this is my biggest issue. I'm not going to lie. I'll be looking at some of these chicks like, y'all can't have the good pussy y'all rapping about if niggas just think they could talk to you like this. Because I know when some good pussy go through some shit that I love, I'm on your ass. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't talking to that woman. She got the snapper. You understand what I'm saying? So I do be thinking like, maybe her pussy ain't that good because don't nobody talk up for her. You know what I mean? I don't even think that's what it is. I think Meg is showing herself to have low character in a lot of different situations. And motherfuckers really don't fuck with her like that. That's, I think that's, that's cool. That's on. very cool if you feel that way. There ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that shit. Like, but what I'm saying is the way you the way you be fucking talking, bro, out your mouth. Like it, it's it's so crazy. We all know the, we all know it's an action to every reaction. We know right now if we tell somebody, yo, fuck you, asshole, it could turn into an argument in the supermarket. Or it could it could go deeper than that. You understand? But my point is is that we 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 need to have certain respect barriers, and it should not be allowed that men that men could be thinking that they could just be talking to anybody the way they be talking to them because you're not built like that you're not built like that bro you hang with a whole bunch of informants bro you hang with people who call the police all day and you're gonna call the police no you should not think you're gonna talk like that see i am a dude they can let me go home tomorrow and i will smack your fucking teeth down your mouth soon as you say something they can let me go home tomorrow and if a nigga put his hands on me i'm gonna be in the same fucking situation again today you understand because i stand on what i stand on there's no compromises in me you understand i, I i'm gonna remain alive the moment you try to Take me, try to take me away from my family. A weaver dirty motherfucker. That's just what it is over here. You understand? And I'm, I'm, I'm a protector of myself, and I'm a protector of others. And I really feel that it's, it's sad when I see women don't have that type of protection. I knew that Megan Thee Stallion was gonna leave Partisan Fontaine. I said she done with that nigga. All the niggas she beef with yeah. just be playing with her. Yep. If yep. she had a protector, yep. yep. she'd be standing by his side. <laughs> She'll be standing by his side if she had a protector. That's why Nicki Minaj ain't with Safari no more, and that's why she's not with Meek no more. You know why? Because dudes is playing with Safari. I met Diddy and them ran down on Safari too. You know, I know a lot of niggas don't know that story. Diddy ran down on Safari. He was going to smack Nicki Minaj up, and he ran down on Safari. And then next thing you know, a month later, her ass was with Meek. And as soon as she got with Meek, a whole bunch of dudes started playing with Meek. So now she looking at him like, man, I need somebody tough. Let me go get my childhood boyfriend that just came out of jail. You understand? See what I'm saying? Because she was tired of getting bullied by men. That's why Nicki Minaj is with Zoo. 
Uh, um, I just want to say thank you, y'all. I got to head out. I appreciate y'all letting me um talk and add something to the conversation. Peace. Thanks. I appreciate you. already you. know, Craig. Be easy. Back right, chicken. But yeah, speak on it. Like that's all I'm saying. Like that, and it's nothing wrong with you talking crazy either, Jameson. But I'm gonna tell you just like I told, just like I told um the kid Flacco. When you think that you could say anything to anybody, you have to understand it's gonna be repercussions. You understand? Jay Z told me. Jay Z told me out his own mouth. He said, "Tax." You know, we didn't like a lot of things that Wendy Williams would say about us. A lot of things was lies. And if people seen her back in the days, if she was out and about in spots, we probably would have did something to her. He said, the difference with you is that you're telling the truth about people and the truth hurts. And he said, when you tell the truth about people, it hurts more than a lie. So he said, think about what you're saying about people and know that you're going to have to deal with those consequences if you see people because you be out and about. So the point is, is that when you decide to be a podcast or a person that comments on people, they could be their craft. It could be a person who write books. They might get mad and say, what you mean? I, you don't like my book, nigga. I'm going to fuck you up. And this is what I went through. I, I told the dude that his music was whack every day that I could tell it to him. Every day I could tell him his shit was corny, I would tell him to him. And he was like, you know what? I'm going to fuck this nigga up when I see him. This nigga beat about five people up because they said his music was whack. We presented a, a tweet in court where one dude said, oh, my God, this dude's music is horrible. The, a person responded to him and said, who? He said, Troy Ave. The nigga's response to that tweet was, when we see you, it's violence. And that was just because he said his music was whack. So now I'm in full understanding like, yo, you can't just be calling niggas music whack, bro. Niggas are really trying to hurt you behind that shit. You understand? So you got to be mindful of the things that you say to people if you're going to be outside and be seen because somebody attack you just off a, a negative criticism that you gave them. You heard? Nah, I feel that, right? And here's my thing about an academic Flacco or whatever. Man, fuck all that. Here's the thing about me. If a motherfucker, if I say something that a motherfucker doesn't like, I got to be ready for the reaction. And if they do something to me, they got to be ready for that reaction too. Because for every action, there's a reaction. Just because you don't like what I say don't mean you get to do what you want to do, bro. Because when you do something, I'm going to do something back. It might be violence. Hopefully not. It might be going to the police. Nigga, yeah, it was him. It was him, 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 him. They jumped me. No, I'm pressing all the charges, nigga. Lock them niggas up. Oh, yo, you a bitch ass nigga. You gonna call the police? Nigga, don't put your fucking hands on me. And, and that, that's that's and that's a fact, and that's and that's highly understood, and that's the way that's the way things should be. Things should be transparent. To this is what's gonna happen. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, I was in a situation with a guy that promoted. Uh, more violence than I've ever promoted in my life. I was in a situation with a guy that talked down on snitches a hundred times a day. But, you know, when he got in a situation where he had to go to prison for the shit that he got caught for, you understand, he got caught with three guns and didn't want to go to jail. You know what I mean? So he said, you know what? I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a say whatever I got to say to get out of the situation. So this is against all rules that he supposedly stood for or whatever the fuck might be. But you understand, you get in situations where people are not going to follow the rules. So understand, whatever you say can be used against you in the court of law or the court of the streets so just be very careful on who you talk about how you talk about them and things of that nature beloved that's all i'm telling you because you have strong opinions and i do believe in a lot of the things you say is true and i think that you know some of the stuff you know might not necessarily be just factual but it's your opinion but your opinion could be very hurtful to other people so you just got to be mindful of what you say man and i'm more mindful of what i say now because i don't want to have beef with a nigga because i didn't like his music no more i'm gonna be honest with you i don't want no be like bro i ain't even got nothing to say bro like i'll say some shit about kendrick's song and then i right after that i gotta tell people the songs about kendrick that i do like because niggas are sending me dms from california like yo tax you can't do that you was with us out here you was in the studio with kendrick for three days i know i like kendrick nigga i just didn't think that song was that dope i thought y'all overdid it you understand what i'm saying but you know it is what it is but yeah just like i said you know if academics is innocent then you know then so be it bro but if you're not innocent yeah you need to get your ass kicked and you need to you need to go to jail i want you in here with me i want you as my bunkie pull up do you feel that he should publicly discuss it though at this point he should publicly denounce it and say whatever the fuck it might be but i know his lawyers is probably telling him not to but you know just like i said you over there talking about everybody else's case as soon as somebody mm -hmm. have a case or a situation you're bringing the yeah. shit up it shouldn't be like that 
This is karma, though. Yo. This is karma coming back. He Yo, over here talking crazy. about the higher ups, yeah. done sick them on him and shit like that, made girls press charges on him. Man, listen, can't nobody make no girls press no charges on you, bro. Fall back. 